Well, you'd hope so. Well, it's and definitely sometimes... one of those, you know, accomplishment accomplishment ships that is not an easy task to make that ship in a game like this. To a satisfactory to degree clean. at all. Yeah. I'm hoping to be able to clean it up just a little bit, but... Because Smenit did a good job to give me the base. I mean, people, people, people will sometimes poke fun at Trek ships, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not that person because they're not easy ships to do well. They're all curvy and stuff, and that teaches you a lot for just, yeah. just from trying. Yeah, go ahead, build one, try and tetra that sucker, have fun. Yeah, this thing's got about half a million tetras and pentas on it. Something stupid. Three hundred thousand. It's looking perfect, man. Right, I mean, I I had this toy when I was a kid. I had the Enterprise toy as a kid, you know. <clears throat> and I can remember watching the final episode when it went out, you know. And I can just remember how awesome that scene was when uh, old Riker just comes in. I think he takes out like a Romulan warbird or something, and then beams everybody aboard as the ship blows up. <laughs> that was under attack. It's a total cowboy moment, you know? And then he warps out, and it's all really quick. The ship gets about three seconds of screen time. <laughs> and uh, when I saw that Bobby Big Hoof had already done the 3D model conversion, um, I had to jump on it. And I think this is like, I started it in September. It's now December. I think this is, oh, someone's saying it was a Negvar. And, um, but yeah, like I say, I've, had, I've done four hours on it, so that means we're up to 40, 43. This is the 43 hour version now. Nice. Coming up next is going to be lights for the dish, top and bottom, neck and body, in the same way that I've done the lights around the rim. Because they worked out quite nicely in the end. It's coming out okay. All right, let's try and dock this sucker. Oh, did they show up in DS9? Really? What, this ship showed up in DS9? No. I need to know what episode. Yeah, I mean, maybe by the them. end, by by the time they're they're really fighting the Dominion, I would not be surprised. Ah, oh, fighting the Dominion, yeah, because that's the thing. I've never watched all of that. I I admit I've got big time. You know, left. it's it's my it's my favorite. In the end, I'm gonna go in the top one. I haven't been in the top one yet. Yay! Oh, the Negvar. Oh. Coming in. Docking laser. Yes. Let's close this door. <laughs> the door's a little bit large though. That's Star Maid, that is. <laughs> I could wedge the inside of it as well, the inside of this door here. Other than that, it's I think the bummer this is... of games like this, only three by three hallways feel sufficient. They gotta be nine yeah. feet wide or they feel weird. Or nine meters, pardon me. Alright then, let's save it. Forty three hours. Oh, right. A screen full of galaxies. Oh, I see. 
Uh, station update. Ooh, I have no idea about the station update. And I haven't got any news about the new dev build either. I think at the moment everyone's just sort of happy that Steam release went and they're trying to get everyone's keys out. But yes, there are things being worked on and I, I haven't got any involvement in it. So I will wait and be ready to tell you all about it when it comes. Because we're looking at some really cool improvements, but I have no idea when. Um, improvements that you're looking at all the time which is going to help a lot. But until then, I can't talk about it. So, yeah. I don't know when Ooh, that's going to happen. The, keep the your new eyes stations on the does sound builds. exciting. Yeah, keep your eyes on the dev builds, though, guys. You can actually put custom stations in the correct folder at the, at the moment, though. That does work. Yeah, they just probably haven't been packaged in yet, but it's all good. Yeah. yeah. Because it's probably on the next universe reset that we do, we're going to put them in even if they're not in. Because we can. They've actually got. Well, the that'll be that'll be cool packaged. for for some players who'd like to have the, uh, you know, existing stations to purchase. We had several players modifying Delmont stations. Mm. On the previous universe. Hundred and eighty thousand white wedges. <laughs> Thirty thousand tetras. Thirty thousand pentas. Thirty thousand corners. And half a million white armored white advanced armor. <laughs> Five hundred and fifty thousand. Quarter of a million overdrive modules. Wow. See, the thing is, right, there's a mini game in downloading this blueprint off the forum. And, um, like, imagine this is a mini game, guys. You download this off the forum, and then you survival build everything on it. You know? You go out, you mine, you craft, and you charge up the blueprint, and then, boop, this was the reward. Do you know what I mean? Or another ship of a similar size and complexity. And I think that's an amazing mini game. Because you can just pick a ship that you want, rather than having to know how to do it, and then have a survival crafting let's play, you know, just for that. I think it's amazing. And I think, I mean, once I finish putting all the lights in, it's going to make a huge difference on this ship. Huge. But I've learned from the newbie <laughs> getting hold of my ship the other day, so I'm going to despawn it now. Oh, that was a beautiful skim. <laughs> <laughs> 